our first uh, quarterly check-in with the goals list, since instead of bi-monthly, yeah, I decided we're just gonna do four check-ins a year with it. I used to do them every month. Felt like a big failure. Did them every other month last year. Still, like, felt like failure, so I'm like, eh, every three months, you know, four a year. Might do a little better. Unfortunately, I'm going into this saying it, and yet I know damn well pretty much everything on here I've failed at so far. I started off strong. That's the worst part. I had good intentions. I always have good intentions, but... Mmm, have I actually done anything? Yeah, okay, well, we're just gonna dive in here, take a look. Maybe there's something that I've overlooked that I've actually done, but so far I'm like... Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> So, first thing on here, start exercising again, even if just three times a week. Truth be told, and this is terrible to admit, I've probably exercised three times since the year started. Total. Total. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, that's a thing. I mean, I did that on the first of the year, and I think I did, like, a couple days later. I think I even got in a third time that week. And then it got really cold, and that was my freaking excuse. And then it started raining, and that was my excuse. And then it was still cold, and now it's raining and hailing and thunderstorming and has been for at least a week. I'm just like, I'd be lying if I said that there hasn't been any nice weather, because there has, and I think I... Okay, so I maybe I've exercised four times this year. Whoa, four. Because there was a really nice day that I went on a super long walk during. That I went out for like two freaking hours during. And that was good. But you can't take one walk like that and go, Well, I'm good for the next three months. That That's not how it freaking works. <laughs> Damn it, self. Why do you always self-sabotage this way? Oh my god. Yeah, that. And I mean... Worst part, we have a freaking stationary exercise bike in our house. Unfortunately, it lives in my parents' bedroom, so I never feel right just, like, inviting myself in there to go use it. But I know damn well any time that I mention that I want to use it, even if I get permission, they get all nosy. And, like, it's just like, could you freaking not? But I don't have... The right to lock them out of their own bedroom while I'm doing that, you know? So it just, it makes me not really want to use the damn thing, you know? But, um, so unless I go walk, pretty much it's not happening. And with the cold weather, I mean, yeah, you can bundle up, but for me, it's more that I have my asthma triggered off really badly by cold air. So, alright, fine. Fair enough on that one. But the rain, I like the rain. My only reason I don't go walk in that is just I don't want to get my shoes dirty. And that's a really stupid reason to not go walk, especially for somebody who likes the rain. Eh. <laughs> so, owning up. Failed hardcore on that very first one on the list already. Hopefully I'm not setting the precedent for the rest of the year by that, but... Let's be honest, I probably am. But uh, <laughs> I will try to do better as the weather improves. I say that, will I do it or not? We'll see. We'll see. Next thing on the list, clean the bedroom, organize the bathroom. Yeah, another one of those things where I started off strong, and then it fell to the wayside, and now I'm worse off on both accords than I was where I started. How I managed to do this time and time again, I don't freaking know. I mean... <laughs> just looking around, I have a shit ton of cardboard boxes I need to, like, collapse and go stick in the recycling just right off the top. That's, like, a quickie thing I can do today. I have a pile of clean laundry on the foot of my bed that I need to fold and put away. That, I mean, it's only been there for, like, less than 24 hours. It's not like it's been there for days on end, but, I mean, still gotta do that. I still need to put away all the yarn that I freaking bought. That hasn't happened yet. Um... I just have shit everywhere that I need to put away. That That's always the story of my life. There's shit everywhere that I need to put away, and yet I'm not doing it, because I don't know why. I mean, the bathroom at least isn't that bad. It's just that I wanted to get 
into a better organization system in there and I was starting on it and I pulled everything out of the cabinets and cleared off the counters and started this and then never finished it and everything is still on the floor and has been there since January. <laughs> yeah. That, I need to get on that. Maybe if I, maybe it'll be like the bedroom where if I at least start with that and then feel really accomplished for finishing that, I'll feel more motivated to work on the bedroom. But I know damn well that I say that. It is just my brain way of, I'm procrastinating dealing with the bedroom situation. We, we know it. I know it. You know it. We all know it. I, I'm not even going to try to kid myself here. But yeah, for the sake of full disclosure and owning up to it, throwing it out there. Okay, try to list one new Etsy item per week. Started off really strong there, and for January, I think I did. And then I fell the fuck behind. And I've not caught back up. I've listed a few things since then, but not one a week, I don't think. And right now, since I'm buried in orders, I'm like, ah, you know, it can wait. It can wait. Last thing I need to do is list more stuff that'll get me more buried before I catch up. Once I'm caught up, okay, I have, like, at least, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, I at least have five things over on my shelf that I still need to list. So, I mean, there's that. I could do one a week if I really wanted to. It's just one of those things where I'm like, I I'd rather catch up first. Yeah, just a thought. But yeah, try to complete more things from the work in progress list. Uh, all I've managed to do is add more things to the work in progress list, but I don't finish yet. Three of my friends are having babies this year. So I started three new baby blankets. I really need to prioritize for who's due first and who's needs to be finished first and just get them the fuck done and mailed off and just out of my hands, but oh my gosh, <laughs> that, oh goodness, uh, get more inventory built up for Etsy, yeah, I really need to do that, I would not be in the boat I'm in right now if I would just do that when it's not a busy period, but when it's not a busy period, that's when I take time off to rest my wrists in my hands, so when exactly am I supposed to do that? Just saying. Um, finish listing the rest of the pocket bags on eBay. Yeah, I really need to do that. I actually was just looking at them, like, the day before yesterday and was like, I should do that. I think I listed, like, one and was like, well, I'm bored. Because that's how my ADHD works, so. YOLO. Uh, <laughs> publish a book. <laughs> I haven't even managed to read a book this year, much less publish a book. Uh, work harder on normalizing eating habits. I have fallen off that wagon so badly. Not in the way of forgetting to eat, oh no, no, no. In the other direction, to where I've eaten all the junk foods and all the candies, way more than I freaking should, even though it's terrible for me, like, I ate an entire bag of Kit Kats in three days. That was a thing. That was this week. That was one instance. One. It was not an isolated instant. Yeah, I need to get my butt back in order on that, because, yeah, normally I'm like the opposite direction where I just don't eat, but then I go into phases like this where it's like, I'm eating, but I'm eating crap. <sighs> this is why I say, like, my entire life, I have never known what healthy, normal eating habits and patterns look like. Because I have never lived them in my entire freaking life. Not even as a small child. Never. I've never known what it looks like. And I mean, I... Obviously, you research these things. You know what it should look like. But reading it on a page versus actually putting it into action are two different things. I can manage to do it for short little bursts. And that's about the best I manage. It never becomes the habit. And it pisses me off. Because I'm like... You know, a bunch of my health problems probably wouldn't be as bad as they are if I would just get this one thing in order. I told you, my life's a train wreck. <laughs> and it's mostly my own fault, so I can't blame anyone for that except number one here. Okay, um, aim to post at least 26 ukulele or guitar videos this year. 
I need to count how many I've done. I've done some. I'm not sure how many in I am yet. Uh, I don't have as many up as I would have liked to have had by this point, but um, but I do have some up. I haven't 100% bailed on that or anything. I still have more in the works and all. The intention is there. It's just a matter of finding the time to practice them out enough to where they feel worthy of posting. So there's that. But um, yeah, it's not for lack of material. I have plenty of stuff I want to post. It's just a matter of finding the time to practice them enough to get them in good enough shape to post. So, there's that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I know I've done at least three or four. Maybe it's been more than that. Like I said, I have to go back and count, because I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. Um, get more variations of current items up in shop. I uh, hiccuped, excuse me, let me take a swig of my coffee. I think that was a one-off hiccup. But, um, yeah, no need to do that still. That has still also not happened. This is where Perler Beat items are, like, a really good thing, because I can technically cross that one off the list if I just do some of those, and they're quick, and they're easy. I just need to do the thing. Um, this would also count for the get something list in a week if I would just do the thing. But <laughs> it's a matter of me actually doing the thing. Worst part, I have, like, a set of four over on my shelf that needs to be listed. I've left them there where they are intentionally in my way, in my face, every single day. Like, hey, stupid, put them in the shop. You made the thing. Put them in the shop. Still not done it yet. <laughs> I have no good reason. I don't know why I've not done it yet. It's one of those things where I was like, oh, yeah, I'll do that in a little bit. And then next thing I know, it's tomorrow, and I see them again. And, oh, yeah, I still need to do that. Okay, in a little bit. And then I just never do the thing. There's like two hats over on my shelves over there. That is the same freaking thing. Where I have them in plain blatant view. I have them in the way, like, intentionally on top of stuff that I have to go get all the damn time. So that maybe my brain will go, oh hey, let's get them out of the way by listing them. And then they'll go on the shelves in the other room where they won't be in my way. And then they might sell and be out of my way forever, you know? And yet, one of them has been sitting there for three years. The other one has been sitting there for four. Yep. That's a thing. That's a thing. I own up to it. I'm not proud of it, but I won't own up to it. For pure transparency's sake. Um, continue expanding product lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to do that, but right now I'm like, I'm not even worrying about that right now, just, I know, but I cannot worry about that right now. <laughs> Learn new techniques. Um, I think I've learned some, not of knitting and crochet per se, but, um, but with watercolors, I have learned some. I have not gotten good at them yet. Mind you, I still suck balls at them, but the only way that you ever get good at anything, like, I I think it was my brother said it, and he, like, paraphrased a Bob Ross quote where nobody's born with talent. All talent is a hobby that you practice really hard at and you hone your skills on. So I was like, that's a good point. That's a very good way of looking at that. And he said this to me actually just a couple months ago while I was really hard on myself about specifically watercolor and he was like well and they rattled off that quote I was like I like that that is a very good point because <laughs> I mean it's one of those things where that's my life I've wanted to be able to do it and just don't know how properly and I just fail at it left and right and then I'm like well I just suck at that clearly um apparently I wasn't made for this even though it's one of those things where it's like I don't think anybody's born with the ability to you have to learn how to do the thing and once you learn it then oh yeah you improve it once you learn how it works the main thing is learning the stepping stones of how it works in the first place and I'm just barely dipping my toes in the water of how it works I'm getting some kind of a grasp on it, at least with the watercolor markers anyway. I do want to explore the pencils again, um, 
because the first time that I played with them, I really didn't know what I was doing. I used really low-end cheap shit. So now that I know, it's like, okay, there is affordable, higher quality ones out there that I could afford right now if I wanted to. The only reason I'm not buying them today is that I don't have time right now to dedicate to them. But when I have time again, I'm probably going to pick those up because now I know what to get to make this a non-miserable experience. And now I know what kind of brushes to use, because that was my other thing. Apparently, soft brushes that hold too much water are the enemy of watercolor. And I'm like, that explains so much. <laughs> like, holy crap. Um, so now I know what I'm looking for and to go through my collection to see if I already have- I probably do already have some that'll work fine for this, but if I don't, I know what I'm looking for now. But yeah, so <laughs> once I build up my confidence with both of those two mediums, then maybe I'll look into getting some palettes that are better than what I have, because the ones I have are such utter crap. They are, like, child quality. They are not usable. I mean, yeah, no, I should just, like, give those to my niece or something. Those are not something that I can really use to do much anything with, I don't think. I mean, I'd play with them, but yeah, it's not working, so that <laughs> but with those I still have to do a little more research into what's a bit more quality at least for a beginner without having to use the crappy child stuff but is not expensive kind of a tall order but I'm sure it's doable lots of people do it every day so <laughs> there's that I also need to get back into the acrylic paintings because I have all these tubes of it and they have not been touched, basically, since that one painting that I did when I bought them. And it feels very wasteful, and I don't want them to dry up, and I know how acrylics go. So, I'm like, okay. I'm having my fun with the watercolors, but I really, really need to get inspired with the acrylics again. Anywho's, um, yeah. Let's see if I can earn $4,000 on Etsy earnings this year. That's probably not gonna happen in all reality, but I mean, it's a pipe dream. I can hope and wish for it, but, um, no guarantees, and in all reality, it's probably not gonna happen. Through all my modes of income together? Maybe. But just from Etsy? I feel like I'm smoking dope if I expect that to actually happen, but you never know. You never know. It could. It could. I mean, I've made 3000 before off of it in one year, so I mean, but so I'm like, it could, I just, it seems like it's plateaued, and I don't know how to get it to the next echelon, um, so that's a thing, but I'm sure I'll eventually get there. <laughs> need to write more patterns, yeah, that's one of those things where I have a ton of them where the notes are all scribbled out, all I need to do is type them up properly, slap in the photos, and test it one more time, make sure there's no mistakes, and list them. Done. Because after that point, once they're listed, when people buy them, I don't have to do shit because they're digital downloads. I don't have to do a thing. I just collect the money from them. I just have to write them out. This shouldn't be that hard. <sighs> Why is this this hard for me? I don't freaking know. Like, for my freaking bubble bag purse, like, I have had the notes written for that for like three years. There is no excuse why I don't just properly type it up and list it already. I have made several of those purses and sold them. People like them. They would no doubt buy the freaking pattern for this. Why don't I sell the pattern already? Self, come on! What the hell's the matter with you? I don't know. But especially when you look at some of the like really high-end Etsy shops in the knitting and crochet categories, the ones that do the best, most of their sales come from patterns, so what the hell am I dragging my feet for? I don't know. I don't know. And it pisses me off that I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> so. But yeah, I need to do that badly. <laughs> uh, start playing piano again. I worked a little bit on that, but it did not become a habit again yet. Although... Last night completely by chance. And it's really stupid how I even stumbled upon them again, but, um, I could hear the Big Bang Theory on downstairs, and it was one of the episodes with Soft Kitty, and all of a sudden, I was like, I know where I know that song from. 
because I knew I knew that song from somewhere before that show was even a thing. One of my earliest piano books, back when I still took lessons, had that fucking song in it. I could still remember the little illustration with it and everything. I was like, I'm googling it. And I did, and what do you know? Confirmed it. That is exactly where I knew it from. And then I was just reminiscing, like, searching all these different terms. I was like, oh my god, all these books. I had all of these books back when I took lessons. Holy shit. And a lot of them are, like, available in ebook now, although I would just bump them in physical format, not ebook, if I were gonna do it again, even though they're, like, literally children's level piano books. But I'm like, I learned it once. I can learn it again and eventually get to where I might be able to do the thing properly and then graduate to the adult beginner's piano books and try my hand there and then hopefully improve. <sighs> you know, that. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, I was just reminiscing looking at all these covers and was like, I had all of these and oh my god, look how many more there were that I never even got to because I bailed on the lessons. But this is apparently what would have come next if I'd stuck with it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so frustrating, but at the same time, I'm like, part of me just wants to, like, binge buy all these freaking books, because I don't have the originals anymore. I kind of wish I did. could save myself a lot of money that way, but, um, a lot of them are available for, like, five bucks a piece, tops, so I'm like, oh, it's doable. If I really wanted to, it's doable, but I'm not gonna just binge buy them right now. I'm gonna hold off and wait a little till I'm positive that I want them, because uh, right now I am not. <laughs> um, I don't know for sure that I want that, but um, who knows, man, who knows. <laughs> I would feel really silly playing these very childish pieces, but at the same time, again, I learned once how to do it, and that's how I learned. And I was actually pretty decent at one point. If it worked for me once, why would it not work again, you know? So... And now I have the piano here, in our house, to work with it with, instead of off at my grandma's where I'd have to schlep up there just to practice. And that's a surefire way to make sure somebody's gonna bail. If it's not right there in the house, convenient to them at any given time, they're not gonna do it. And I had a keyboard at home, but it didn't have pedals, it didn't have the volume differences from pressure. It just, it was not the same thing, and that was a big part of where I got frustrated and just bailed on it all. Yeah, <clears throat> I still have that keyboard, but not very conducive to learning those kind of techniques. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, so I really need to get that piano tuned if I'm going to do this, and it's not cheap. And for how old that piano is, I remember there was like an issue back when I still had lessons that they couldn't tune it all in one go, because if they tune it that much in one go, they'd break it. And it would have to be done in several visits, and you'd have to pay for all of them, and that's why it just never got done all the way. So, that's a thing. <laughs> um, and it's like a few hundred bucks per time they come out. So I'm like, do I really want to blow almost a grand just on getting that piano tuned again? When it may very quickly lose its tuning again. And I don't realistically know how much I'm actually going to play it. Although... Although, to be fair, if it were 100% tuned, I would be a lot more liable to spend probably hours a day in there with it if it actually sounded correct. I mean, I've gone in there, I've used YouTube tutorials to try to learn certain things on it, but when the pitch is completely off and isn't even close to matching the video, um, and I'm somebody who has a lot of pitch memory, that... You know, that's gonna throw you for a loop and is not going to make you want to stick with it. So, I feel like if it were tuned, I probably would, probably, actually spend a lot more time with it. I say that, and yet, how many uh, guitar videos have I filmed since, since getting that restringed twice? Yeah, this is why I'm hesitant to throw that much cash at tuning that piano. <laughs> so, um... You know, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, but I really, really would like to see it done. Um, and for that much money, I, I probably would be inclined to actually do something with it. For throwing... A, I mean, with that amount of money, I could buy a new computer. So, just saying, if I were to blow it on the piano, I, I think I would actually use the piano. 
It'd make it a lot more conducive to me if my dad would match me on the cost for this, since it's not solely mine, it's for the household, so I'm like, if I'm not going to exclusively be the only one playing it, shouldn't you pony up some of the cost? Just saying. We go round and round in circles on this argument all the time. And the other night, I think I almost kind of swore I had him on the fence. Getting closer. Because he saw somebody on a website that um can locally do it and maybe cheaper. So I'm like, I might have half an argument with this one. But um, as of right now, yeah, I don't necessarily see it happening in the near future. So, anywho. Draw more. I have done that. I have done that. Not as much as I would have liked to have done by this point. I was hoping I'd have, like, at least couple dozen pages filled in the Beatles sketchbook, much less my other sketchbooks, but, um, you know, I got as far as the inside cover and most of the title page done. I never even completed that because I never decided for sure what I wanted to fill the rest of the page with. <laughs> it's so frustrating, guys, because I'm like, I'm a perfectionist. I want it to be good. I don't want to risk fucking it up. And, I mean, I'll, I'll go grab it, because, I mean, for those of you who don't have Instagram, and I know there's some of you who don't, I mean, you miss out on this all the rest, so I'm going to go grab it and show you what I have so far with it. It's not much, so, let me grab it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Try to get it out from under the markers. So you can see, this is a big-ass book. I'm going to fill this entire thing with nothing but beetles. I've made this be a thing. I'm going to buy a second one of these just for, like, shitty sketches that I don't want to waste my good paper on. And, um, I wish I had, like, gotten the other one that had better quality paper than this, but... Oh well. So, the inside cover I am super duper proud of. And then this page I'm not done with. I can still fit more into here. And this you can't really read, it says Jen Draws Beatles. And then I have the start date down here. If I were really smart, I would have started on the first instead of the second, but, um... Yeah, we've got the evil flying glove, we've got Jeremy up here. And I feel like right here, I could fit something. Right here, I could fit something. I don't know about here. I want to put something there, but I don't know what. And then some kind of light background. But, um... That's what I have so far with it. It's not much, so... <sighs> but it is a big ol' heftin' book. And I intend to have every single page of it filled with beetles. Because that is how obsessive I am. So, <laughs> anyway. And it's like one subject matter. I know. I will not get bored of drawing that many times. Because I've probably drawn them and beetles related things more times than anything else in my entire life. And have been doing so since I was a small child. So, obviously, it's not going anywhere for me. That fandom is here for life. That's just part of who I am. So... Anyways, <sighs> write more. Yeah, that has not happened, like, at all. <laughs> uh, create something daily. I wish I could say I could, well, if we count YouTube videos, I guess that's kind of creating something daily, but that's not really what I meant when I wrote that. I meant something tangible, but, um, as you do. <sighs> Try to uphold photo challenges. I haven't even started a photo challenge yet this year. Um, try not to miss any days uploading to YouTube. For the most part, I don't, but I'd be hard-pressed to find a single month where I did not miss even one day. Yeah, there's always some day in there that screws me up where I miss a day, and I'm like, damn it, I was this close to having every single day, but I still try. <laughs> Try to get YouTube theme days back on track. Yeah, every time I do, then like a holiday or something happens and it throws me off all over again. The intention's there. I still want them back on track, but not there yet. Uh, be more interactive on Instagram. I've been really bad with that lately, not gonna lie. Especially since all the shitstorm with Lipsest. Um, yeah, it has not exactly made me want to be very interactive on Instagram when every friggin' time I opened Instagram for a good while in there, all I was getting was, like, literal hate and death threats, um, over a frickin' PSA for people's safety. Yeah, it was kind of, like, mentally I checked out and was like, well, fuck you guys then. But, um, 
like, oh well, screw yourselves if you guys get sick from using that shit if you don't want to listen, but, um, I'm right. Not my fault if you guys don't want to listen, but, yeah, I kind of slipped off of uh, Instagram for the most part and never really got back full speed ahead into using it regularly again ever since. I've been hiding on my Manelli memes account, but, um... Other than that, <laughs> which are very rude, by the way, so, um, I've been, like, taking texts from, uh, texts from last night dot com and just putting them on random lines of pictures and just, like, boom, insta-meme. I used to do that on Tumblr back when I still used Tumblr, but I don't use Tumblr anymore, so, um, that's a thing. But, yeah, I'm like, I know damn well everyone knows exactly who's behind this account, because I've always been the only one who posts these, so... If I can come up with other memes that aren't text from last night, then I'll post those too. But, um, yeah, fair warning. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> so, um, anyways. Stop blowing off people on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, I really, really need to get better at not doing that so much. I've been so bad with it lately. Because, again, ever since that whole shitstorm, my social anxiety has been off the charts. I think there's been maybe, like, one or two people I've talked to on any kind of a normal basis since that. And other than that, I've kind of, like, been in my reclusive little shell, like, nope, nope, I'm scared of people right now because all people want to do is yell at me, so... That. <sighs> Keep doing the movie challenge. I've actually barely watched any movies yet this year, and that makes me sad. Because I've pretty much just exclusively watched YouTube videos all day every day since the start of the year. Um, not on purpose, just that's how it's worked out. Um, work on Cabaret 54 and no excuses. Yeah, it's looking more and more like I'm just gonna close that damn site, but I'm trying to hold off and wait till after that one-off show Liza's doing with Michael Feinstein to see, is this the start of another tour or no? I honestly don't think it's gonna be. I think it's a one-off, but if she actually legit starts touring again, you know what? I will put my foot in my mouth happily and I will keep working on that site. Otherwise, I'm closing the damn thing. It's a money suck. Without her touring, nobody's really looking for fan sites for her. They just aren't. So, there's nothing that I would put on it that I couldn't put on a free website. You know, it, it's kind of stupid. I mean, it's nice to have the domain name, but I could keep the domain name without all the other shit to go with it. Um... <sighs> Get into the ba back into the daily reading habit, try to review a book per month. Funny thing, I actually found a website, I think it was like onlinebookclub.org, where you sign up and they give you free ebooks to review, and after your first one, the first one you do, you review for free, and then they evaluate your review writing style. You get 30 days to read the thing, and then a week to review it, uh, which means I now have three weeks to read that thing that I haven't started yet. Whoops, it's like 400 pages. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I don't get to sleep this week, huh? <laughs> but anyway, um, so, you do that. And then after that point, if they like your writing style and they approve you, then you're eligible for paid reviews. Anywhere, uh, depending on the book, it may pay as little as five bucks for your review, it may pay out as much as sixty bucks per review, or anywhere in between. Um, all you have to do is follow their guidelines, which I read, and I'm like, oh, those are hella easy guidelines, dude. I could do that. No sweat. I'd be getting paid to review them, which I reviewed books for free anyway. May as well get some money out of it if I'm gonna do it. Um, and it would get back into the reading habit. Two birds with one stone, you know? Well, I just have to actually do the damn thing. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, I highly recommend trying out that website if that sounds like a thing you would like to do. I mean, it's not something you would, like, make a living off of, but it's extra money in your uh, in your pocket, which is always a good thing, so just throwing it out there as it's a thing that I just very recently found and wish I had found a long time ago. But yeah, so maintain the med schedule. Yeah, I've been super bad with that, and I think my most recent asthma flare has been because of that. Good job, self. Yeah, I got myself all freaked out because I was having chest pains for, like, the better part of a week. I was like, oh my god, am I having heart problems again? What the fuck? And all of a sudden it dawned on me yesterday that, wait, it's like a constricting feeling. It's dull pains. And think about where it's lining up. I was like, hey, stupid, when's the last time you took your maintenance medicine? I know what's wrong with me now. <laughs> god damn it. 
But the weird thing is I haven't really wheezed that much, so it didn't dawn on me that this was what was going on. But, oh, the pain thing has been there. So I was like, alright, okay, I need to get this back under control again. So just since that first dose, upon realizing it, it was like, Oh my god, yeah, the pain is already down to, like, maybe a fourth of what it was earlier in the day. It's definitely that, so. That's a relief that it's not heart problems, you know? Because, I mean, I've had plenty of those, but I'm very glad that it's not bad. <laughs> I'm glad that it- oh, I spit, I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad that it's something that's so easily fixable, at least, but, yeah. I am a dumbass. Actually, get the dental issues taken care of. Yeah, I really did mean to, like, call the dentist this past week. I don't know why I didn't, other than phone anxiety and actually doing the damn thing. Monday morning, I'm calling. I know that I need to get this damn scarf done, but you know what? I also need to get this taken care of. Even if I, like, put the appointment out a week from then, I, I need to get this taken care of. So, because this, you see this? Yeah, that is going to fall the fuck out or rot out or something, and that temporary is not going to help it anymore if I don't get on with it. And given all of a sudden it's super sensitive to hot and cold, I'm like, yeah, okay, that wasn't a thing until like this past week. What the hell? I need to get it done. So that was a little wake-up call there. Um, get back to drinking a bottle of water and a cup of tea each day, start weaning off soda. I actually have been drinking a lot less soda than I was for a while. There have been days where I don't touch it at all. There have been periods where I didn't touch it for two or three days and thought nothing of it. However, wasn't really uh, replacing it with anything, and I think I got mildly dehydrated thanks to my dumbass self. So I've been making a point of drinking a bunch of water, so... I've been good with that. You'd think I would want to drink a bunch of tea because it's been so cold out, but again, the, uh, heat sensitivity thing here has been putting me off of it a little bit, but I'm doing it anyway, somewhat, but yeah, not as much as I could. Sort the beads. You know what? I didn't finish it, but I did work on it because I set up a system with myself every time I would do a perler bead project before I put the beads back. Um, I would take each color one by one and then sort through that bin and try to find 100 beads of that color and add them into the bag. So that's 100 beads less in that bin than there were before and doing it with each color. And if there wasn't that many left of that color, I would just grab a color at random from the box of bags of beads that are sorted and just add 100 of that color. I will eventually get that thing tackled. And I actually did legit work on it several times, so there's at least a couple thousand less beads in there than there were before. So, you know what? For as many times I've been like, I haven't even looked at that bin, I actually did. I did a little bit of the thing. There's still a ton of the way to go, but I actually did the thing. A little bit, anyway. I didn't finish the thing, but I did the thing. Okay. Invest in more wire mesh cubes to help with yarn storage. Yeah, I still need to do that badly. I actually will feel so much better once this whole disaster area is just up against the wall in more of these cubes, frankly, so. Uh, keep working on communication skills. Yeah, this goes back into the whole thing of blowing people off on Facebook and on Instagram. I really need to not do that and actually talk to humans. Work harder on anxiety control. It's not the worst it's ever been, but yeah, I could be doing better with that than I have been. But, um, in some respects I have done better with that lately than I have in months, if not years, in certain regards. So it's not a total loss on that one for this quarter, but yeah. Try to double savings. Ha ha ha! Right now there's so little in there, it would not take much to double my savings. But that is, again, not what I meant when I wrote it down. Uh, I know mentally where I'd like it to be, and I'm not even close to it. Gotta pay taxes, but at least I have enough in there to be able to pay my taxes now, and not be wiped out altogether afterwards. And once I have my YouTube money, I will be a step closer to the guitar I'm saving up for. Um, between the money I made off the Rush Order Doctor Who scarf and my YouTube money, I will be 
over half of the way there for that, uh, for that guitar. I almost said for that scarf. So, you know, it's a good thing. But again, I, just like with the taxes, I don't want to, like, only have enough to cover the cost of that and then be broke, broke. So, I want to have, like, at least another hundred dollars more than what I need for that guitar before I buy that guitar, so. Okay, um, because clearly I, I play the guitars that I have so much. I suck, <laughs> frankly. Uh, I mean, the one back here, there's a reason why I don't play that one. That one, the wiring is janky and it needs to be repaired by a professional and I just haven't shelled out for it. I have another electric. Only reason I don't play that one more is my amplifier's fried and I need to buy another one of those. So that leaves me with the acoustics. I have a Spanish acoustic, that's the one you've seen me play in videos, but it's so big, it's really hard to really get my hands around. Plus it's the acoustic, or it's the Spanish sound, which isn't really the sound I want for most songs. For some songs it sounds great, but other ones I'm like, not really what I was going for here. I'd really rather just have a normal acoustic. Uh, there's the one that I have to share with my dad that's like 50% his, 50% mine, but um... It's become more like 90% his, 10% mine, because he hides it all the damn time. Which leaves me with Kimmy's pink sparkly glitter guitar, which you could not pay me to be seen with. So yeah, I just need to buy the ball and buy, buy the one that I want. Um, because at least that way I'll have a proper acoustic of my own that I don't have to share with anyone, that doesn't look stupid. It'll be good. <laughs> And then I can stop stressing over this. And I might actually post more guitar videos with that. If I don't, I'm going to be really mad that I blew like 300 bucks on one. But I think I will once I have it. Because after spending that much money on something funny thing, y you want to get your money's worth out of it. And for things like um, singing videos, you have to post a lot of them to earn back the cost of what you put into it. Because frankly, being that short, they don't get a whole lot of ad revenue. So, um... You know, gonna need to post a lot of those to make up the cost of that guitar, but I'm not trying to necessarily earn the cost back in ad revenue, I just have wanted my own proper, normal acoustic guitar since I was like 14. So <laughs> that's how long I've had the Spanish acoustic, and it has pissed me off ever since that it doesn't sound like a normal acoustic. But again, there are certain songs that it sounds better with, and I'll still keep it for those, but um... I think 90% of the time I'm going to be using the new one once I get it. Just throwing that out there. Okay, um... Keep making time for gaming. Yeah, that has, um, not been a thing really yet. I mean, there's been my shitty little gameplay videos that I post on here of, like, the things I play for shits and giggles that I'm not playing them because I enjoy them. I'm playing them because I'm making fun of them. <laughs> I'm throwing them on YouTube to hopefully make other people laugh. Um, although, I did recently shoot myself in the foot by um, playing Plague Incorporated for a week straight and got way behind in my orders and thus landed myself in the boat I'm in right now. So, <laughs> I wouldn't be so far behind if I hadn't have done that. That's why, unless I'm in a lull with sales, I have to, like, not let myself indulge in that. But because of that, I still haven't set up my Nintendo Switch yet, and I'm so pissed off over it. <laughs> I want to play it so badly. But I know damn well, if I set it up, I will get nothing else accomplished for at least a week. Possibly a month. I mean, if it's anything like the Wii U was, like, I think I disappeared for a good month, like, off the face of the internet, while the newness of that had not yet worn off, so... That's why I'm like, yeah, I cannot do that when I have orders open and everything. When I have literally nothing else pressing that needs to be done, then I can do it. It's just a matter of getting there. But between all the orders and all the baby blankets I need to do, and I still need to make that scarf for my sister too, um, yeah, it's gonna be a while, and it makes me really sad, because I'm like, I spent all the money on the games, on the memory card for it, I've got the thing, and I still can't play the goddamn thing. <laughs> I could cry. I won't. I could, but I won't. Yeah. Improve overall organization. Yeah, see, again, that goes back to the cleaning, and, um, 
clearly that's not happened yet, so, you know, <laughs> gotta do the thing, gotta pony up and just do it already. Don't know when it'll happen, but it needs to happen, and I'm gonna keep kicking myself till I do. <laughs> And then get braver about experimenting with hair and makeup. Yeah, see, for the first couple months of the year, really didn't, even though I wanted to, because the uh, then boyfriend really didn't like me wearing makeup or doing anything with my hair that involved products that had a scent. So, um, pretty much just didn't do it. 99% positive it is over with him now, unless um, I find out otherwise down the road and he, like, has a change of heart, and it's like, oh, never mind. Um, yeah, I think that's over, and therefore, I don't have to be so conservative about that, therefore, I don't know why I'm not doing more with that, and frankly, I should, because I felt really good about myself when I was exper uh, experimenting with that stuff last year. Um, am I good at it? Fuck no, but does it still, is it fun? Yeah! Does it make me feel good about myself? Yeah, it gives me confidence that I actually did a thing that other people think looks good, therefore, must not suck as bad as I thought it did. Um, but yeah, I just need to get back into that habit again, because I had gotten to where I was, I was feeling brave with it, I was feeling more confident, I was enjoying it, and then he swanned back into my life, and it was right back at square one of, yeah, don't wear that stuff, and, ah, that's right, that's why I didn't do this for years, because he didn't like it. I really shouldn't let any one person put that much stock in what I do or don't do with my appearance or anything else, but when it comes to that guy, just everything tends to go out the window. What I want tends to go out the window in lieu of what he wants, and I suppose in hindsight that's a sign of how dysfunctional it's always been with that guy, but um, yeah. I mean, I suppose, <laughs> if I want to, with this right here. I could just, like, right here, right now, tie a bow with this ribbon. I don't think it's gonna work very well, but, um, uh, pie maybe? Yeah, I can't, I can't do it one-handed. I was like, honestly, this is like the corsety strap from my bra. I don't know why I'm trying to use this as a hair ribbon, but, uh, yeah. Because I wash it, it's drying right now, so I took the ribbon out of it, but, um. Because, yeah, when you're flat, you have to use, like, a lace-up push-up bra just to look like you have anything, but, um, that. He also didn't like that, so, um, I'm enjoying wearing that without shame now, but, uh, <laughs> you would think he'd love it, but no, um, whatever, I don't care anymore, so, do what I want, but, uh, yeah, so, should try and do that. My main thing with the hair is that I never know what the hell to do with it, because I'm not gonna color it. My my uh, my system is too sensitive to handle, like, salon chemicals, so anything involving color is pretty much out the window, unless I find some, like, silver bullet product that does not upset my system and just do bad things to me. But, um, yeah, that's why I haven't colored my hair since I was, like, 19, but, <clears throat> um, yeah, that last time I did, because I have scalp psoriasis, like, all over, the pain from that hair dye was so bad that I literally almost threw up and passed out. You're not supposed to use it on broken skin, and with scalp psoriasis, you always have broken skin, so yeah, that's why I'm like, you know what, it's just not worth it to me. If I were going to do anything color-wise, it would just be the ends of my hair, but frankly, I don't, I don't really want to do that anymore. There was a period where, yeah, I wanted to do the ends of my hair like purple or red, just like streaks of it, like kind of punkish a little bit, but now I'm like, I don't really want to anymore, um, so just style-wise, it's more a matter of not really knowing what exactly I want to do with it that doesn't involve cutting it, because I don't want to cut it, I'm growing it out to my butt right now, but, um, yeah, it's just finding inspiration of what to try to do that I might have some shot of being able to accomplish with, um, little to no skill in hairstyling, so yeah, that, that's my main hang-up there. Makeup, it's more just, I don't know what I'm doing with it, and when I get ex experimental with it. I take one look in the mirror and nine times out of ten I'll wash it off be like, yeah, nobody's seeing that ever. That was terrible. But um, every once in a while I go, screw it, and I come on camera and I'm like, it probably looks like shit. You're probably all laughing at me and you're not going to admit it. But then you guys in the comments are like, actually, no, that looks good. And I'm like, really? I, th I thought it looked like Bozo the Clown, but I mean, if you guys think it looks good, maybe, um, maybe it's not so bad. So 
it's kind of an ego boost when that happens. But just saying, if it actually looks bad, you do not have to, like, lie and say it looks good. Like, honestly, let me know if it looks bad, because I'd rather know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyways, because if you tell me it looks good when it really looks bad, I'm going to keep doing the thing because you told me that it looks good. So that's why I'm like, if it looks bad, I need to know it looks bad. <laughs> oh god, anyways. That is the end of the list. So, yeah, like I said, going into it, pretty much totally failed at everything on it. But, um, maybe by the next check-in I'll have actually done more of the things on here. So, anywho. If you like this video, and hopefully didn't mind listening to me babble for nearly an hour about how big of a failure I am, go ahead and hit the like button. <laughs> uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So anyway guys, till next time, bye.